The two blocks of masses 2 kg and 4 kg are attached to each other by a massless string that is wrapped around a frictionless pulley. When the bottom 4 kg block is pulled to the left by the constant force P, the top 2 kg block slides across it to the right. Find the magnitude of the force necessary to move the blocks at constant speed. Assume that the coefficient of kinetic friction between all surfaces is 0.4. Here is the free body diagram. Okay. You know, if you see here, this is the top block and this is the bottom block. And then force is applied on the bottom block and towards left. So the bottom block is pulled towards left and then tension is pulling towards the right. That is what I showed here. Now, what are the forces acting on it? The total weight. So 4 plus 2, 6. That is Fg2 plus F. Fn1. So Fg2 means 4 into 9.8. Okay, this is 2 into 9.8 because of the top one. So the total is 6 into 9.8 acting downwards. And then upwards, this the 4 kg block is applying the contact force on the 2 kg block. Okay. And then now um the friction friction force so for tension is acting in this direction applied force left side and then the friction is acting towards the right okay now coming to the first block on the top block what are the forces acting tension towards x direction forces tension towards right and then friction towards left and then usually as usual the weight downwards and the normal force upwards simple okay now, if we write the force, he is asking us to find out Fp. So, to find the Fp, if we write the force equation, um, what is the force equation? Sigma F is equal to Ma. Am I right? But A is equal to 0 because constant speed. The blocks are moving at constant speed, so it is 0. So, I am writing this Fx. Okay. So, on the x direction, what are the forces acting? Fp is the left side. Okay, so minus Fp and the right side F tension, Ft, okay, plus F friction 1 plus F friction 2 is equal to 0. Okay, so Fp is equal to, therefore Fp is equal to F tension plus F friction 1 plus F friction 2. Okay, so we have to find out friction 1, friction 2 and tension. What is the tension in the string? So for that, what we do is we go for the first, we go for the, uh, we will try to find out the tension and friction. Okay, tension will be the same across the cable. That is why if we find the tension, that will be sufficient. Now what we do is we will go to the first block. On the first block, if we take the X direction forces. What are the X direction forces? Ft and F friction. Ft is along the X direction, positive X direction, F friction along the negative X direction. Therefore, Ft balances the F friction or Ft minus F friction 1 is equal to 0. Sigma Fx is equal to. Okay. So, therefore, Ft is equal to F friction 1. So, if we find the F friction 1, so we will, we are finding both. Okay, how to find the F friction 1? To find the F friction 1, we need the Y direction forces. So, sigma Fy is equal to Fn1 minus Fg1. Fn1 minus Fg1 is equal to 0. Okay, therefore, Fn1 is equal to Fg1. Okay, we know Fg1 is equal to Mg1, M1G. Okay, so what is M1G? That is equal to 2 kilograms. No, 2 into 9.8. That is 19.6 newtons. 19.6 newtons is the Fg1. So Fn1 is that one. So F friction is equal to mu Fn. Mu K Fn1. Okay. And then F, here I will write Fn1 is also is equal to 19.6 newtons. Okay, and then mu k is equal to 0 0.4 given to us. Okay, therefore F friction 1 is equal to 0 0.4 times 19.6 that is equal to 
we, what is the value? 7.84 Newtons. F friction 1 is equal to 7.1 .1 Newtons. Therefore, Ft is also the same. That is why Ft is equal to 7.84 Newtons. Okay. So we found out two quantities. And we are left with, we have to find out F friction 2. To find F friction 2, we go for the second body. Okay. And then here, what I do is Fg1, F, okay, I will write the, this is x direction force, so y direction forces I will write. So for the, for the second object, for the second mass, sigma F by is equal to Fn2 is up, okay, Fn2 minus, this is uh, actually total mass times uh, G. Okay, so minus um, 4 plus 2 times 9.8. That is what acting downwards. Am I right? For 2 kg is on 4 kg means the total 6 kg is acting downwards. Okay, so uh, th that will be the value. Now uh, is equal to 0. No other force is acting now. Fn2 is uh, this one. So Fn2 is equal to 6 into... 9.8. What is the value? 6 into 9.8 is equal to um, 50. What is the answer? 6 into 9.8. Just we will calculate here. 58.8. 58.8 Newtons. Okay. Now we have friction is equal to, here I will write, F friction 2 is equal to mu Fn mu Fn2, okay, and Fn2 is equal to 58 point, so F friction 2 is equal to 0 0.4 times 58.8, okay, what is the value, 58.4 into 58.8, that is equal to 23.52 Newtons, okay, now we will substitute the values in this equation, so Fp is equal to F tension is 7.84 plus F, F friction 1 is 7.84. Okay. So, one second. 7.84 plus 7.84 plus 23.52 gives the answer. So Fp is equal to what is the value, total value? 39.2 Newtons. So this much of force is required to uh, make the, uh, may, to make both the masses to move with constant speed. Okay, that's it. Thank you, bye-bye.